Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. When uh, Tucker and uh, Tucker Carlson and Fox parted ways, I said, do not panic. First and the second one, uh, it was not about the money. It was about something else. Well, uh, this article that I have here proves that it's not about the money. Not, a, not that it was necessary, but it's going to tell us how deep uh, Fox News fell after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, someone else filled Tucker Carlson's uh, show's slot. Slot. You know what I mean? Slot? Yeah. Slot. Uh, slot machine. Uh, and that is a very drop. It fell in half the viewership. So, again, uh, Fox and these guys in charge did not care about that one. That was expected. But just to see how many people said you and how many people got it. Got it. There's a lot of people. And I'm going to tell you in this article, they give us numbers. I love numbers as long as they're true. <laughs> All right. So let's see. And they are because these guys are gloating about it. So uh, this is uh, from the rap. Rap. Uh, it's from today, the 27th of April, 2023. Here is the uh, title. Tucker Carlson's old Fox News time slot ratings crater with Brian Kilmaide losing audience nightly. No shit. So, Kilmaide, I never liked this guy to be honest with you. I thought he was a weasel. Inaugural Monday night stint at 8 p.m. did very well. Then the free fall began. Did very well because people said, okay, let's see what you can do. They, had, they still had uh, hopes. No, I didn't have any hopes. I saw this guy a few times and I said, no, even talking to Tucker and in Tucker's shows, I was like, no, you're not on the same boat. You are on the other side of the fence. When Fox News anchor Brian signed on Monday night to fill in for the defunct Tucker Carlson tonight, some combination of curiosity led in and brand strength kept the network's total viewers numbers in a dead heat with Carlson's last show the Friday before. So people said, let's see what's going on here. And maybe some people did not even know that happened. But boy, what a difference a couple of days makes. While the 8 p.m. hour got 2.59 million, so 2.6 million total viewers on average on Monday. So this was 2.6 million on Monday. Viewership dropped to 1.7 million, so that's almost a million viewers on Tuesday and slid further to 1.33 million total viewers on Wednesday, falling just behind MSNBC in the time slot, according to Nielsen Live Plus same day figures. So it fell half. 50% and Fox behind MSNBC, CIA. All right, trend wise, it's ugly. That's a 34% Monday to Tuesday drop with another 22% slid from Tuesday's numbers on Wednesday night. Comparing Monday to Wednesday, average total view, view, view ships evaporated by half. All right, so. It's not hugely surprising and certainly not a disaster for Fox News. No, it's not. Now they try to defend them. <laughs> well, for a cable losing that, it's disaster, which on its worst of nights is still the most watched network in cable news. Wednesday's 1.33 million may be a poor showing compared with Fox historical 8 p.m. audience, but it's still more than doubled CNN's numbers that night. 643,000 total viewers boo anyway so i told you it's not about the money and they will not regain that they will not regain that so uh, not the money is about something else it's about the truth i guess uh, or at least uh, the uh, an other angle that will disclose you know that the narrative the script needs to be added and completed because it's garbage what these guys give us so um it was expected so then what so if you have, let's say, a, I'm not insulting anybody, I'm not of that age, but let's say a 70-year-old person that I know, one that is um, older than that, is watching CNN regularly. And I'm thinking, how in the hell can you watch CNN regularly? But she doesn't know, she doesn't know that CNN is as it is, and just CNN. So that's a CNN person. I'm thinking, do you listen to other ones? The other ones are crazy. How did you form? Oh, well, CNN says it. 
Okay, well, then, and that person votes. Good job. I'm not saying you should watch uh, Fox. <laughs> I say you should watch all of them and beyond. You just make, like, for instance, when I watch something, I watch it just for my own uh, uh, assessment and, you know, to, to see what's going on over there, how deep in shit they are, how much they lie, how much they go to the left. Uh, th that's why I'm lying. I'm comparing with other 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 pieces of information the puzzle with they what they give and they give the same thing like for e uh, e uh, or bah, one of these two or whatever chicken pop, 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 the same the ones that look at you with one eye ooh, ooh, ooh. remember that's how a chicken looks because it has eyes like this cuckoo anyway i always thought that was funny how they look at you so uh, here you go now what are the, what is the option for people who really watch tv cable news what what can they see? I mean, for me, it's really, really frightening. I'm honest with you. Not my oh my god, not that kind of frightening. But these guys are voting, and I'm thinking how. I don't want to say limited uh, with the intention of uh, insulting anybody, but you limit yourself if you watch only one thing. That's for sure. Even if you watch Tucker, that's a, what that's a, his vision on something. You have to watch CNN. You have to watch things outside. Not, not not only those guys, but I'm t talking about a person who's like a, an American, you know, sits down, it's 8 o'clock, let's watch the show, boom. And you watch uh, whatever his name is, uh, uh, I can't remember, O'Reilly, which was garbage. You watch that, oh my God, yes, O'Reilly. No, O'Reilly was a 3 at the most, 3 out of 10, maybe 2, 2 out of 10. With Cuomo and with uh, uh, Lemon, Lemon. That's where well, three, four. As I said, for me at least, based on the people that I listened to, and I had the, the honor to meet and discuss things, of, of ten, these guys are just three. And as I said, Tucker seven, six, seven, and he's been going up. He's, uh, he was the five, and a little by little lately, about uh, two years, he's just accelerating. You know, like I was like, you're gonna get fired. No, you're gonna get arrested. And then you're gonna get fired and we're gonna find out i don't know what you did you like bondage or whatever kind of sex or who never child pornography or something you do that and then they're gonna say see we got him they're gonna come up with something but they didn't they come up with you know you gotta go out now what look at trump's uh truth uh media it's not as popular as, uh, as any of the uh, uh, know what i mean you want the Others, you know, there I've looked at their viewership and their, 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 how do you call it, how many people are involved and are using, for instance, YouTube versus uh, others. She's like here versus this. So imagine how many people view that, this, instead of viewing, I don't know, uh, Gitter or something like that or other, you know, what I mean, networks or uh, platforms. <laughs> Just like this. Do you think a 70-year-old person will necessarily go and watch that, go on the internet and watch that, or YouTube? No, he's still going to be with remote control, or maybe he's going to push the buttons on this television uh, to see the who is the next weasel telling them of whatever, MSNBC, CNN, Fox, and so on. So that's what bothers me. If this guy left, uh, don't, don't give me Hannity. Hannity is another three or four. Three. Uh, Laura Ingram, another three or four. That's all they are. I'm, I've seen much better. I've seen much better. Them. Right? I don't care. I've seen. So I'm not going to say, yeah, they're good. No, they're not good. They're not good at all. That's it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth and be just.